I became aware of being potentially a work addict, listening to my concerned French friends who said to me, you should take a break. They reminded me that work is not everything and life is so much bigger than this. And it hit hard, especially from loved ones. I had gone from planning nothing to planning everything after eight years living and working in New York City. Lesson learned, life balance is something that I have to assess and question regularly, especially here. Hi, my name is Margot and I'm French. If you like cross-cultural experiences and living abroad stories, this channel is for you. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell button and enjoy the video. I still believe health and family comes first and I always will. But there is something that is telling me there is a good reason. There is a higher concentration of work workaholic here in New York than anywhere else. First, this is a very expensive city, but it will always be a place people dream of living due to the stereotype that if you can make it here, you can make it everywhere. Rents and food are insanely high, yet millions of people are staying here and living here, even in the most precarious situations. So what makes this city so attractive that people stay and live and have to take up to four jobs just to stay. I think in part it's because there is such a concentration of passionate people. Whatever your field is, there is a belief that if you work hard enough, you are going to create something very unique and you're going to be a pioneer in the thing you are passionate about. I think in New York there is a very unique competition for excellence. This combined to the high cost of living is why people hustle. A friend of mine put it so wonderfully that I have to share it with you. He said to me, I love New York because this is one of the only cities where no one is going to question your ambition. In New York, you also have access to the very best of everything. It's like restaurants, you have access to the very best food, sometimes even better in quality and abundance than the local version, but it comes at a very high cost. While it's more and more clear in my mind that it's not reasonable to live in New York City, this is a unique experience, a constant challenge with myself that I will never regret. Have you ever lived in New York City? What is your opinion about what role work plays here? Let me know in the comment section below with the bells as a musical accompaniment to see more videos like this. In the next episode, I will be discussing what not to do in New York City. That could be very useful if you are visiting. What I learned to be some faux pas and how to avoid them. Stay tuned, à bientôt.